Welcome to SoapXL Training and Coaching. My name is Steve Huang. In this video, you are going to learn how to do XLOOKUP to look up vertically and horizontally at the same time in one single formula. You can download the training Excel file from the link in the description so you can practice along. This is the ninth video in the XLOOKUP Inside Out series. If you haven't watched the previous videos yet, you may want to go back to start from the first one or at least from the eighth one so you have some understanding of how to do XLOOKUP as a formula as I will lay the foundation for you to understand how to nest two XLOOKUP together to look up horizontally and vertically in one single formula. If you are practicing along with the downloaded Excel file, this file we're using is SuperXL 9 2 dimensional XLOOKUP. Here on the right side, I have this table with sales cases for all those different cards my D in those different weeks. And we have the data all the way down to the row number 60. And given that data, we want to find out on the left side the sales cases for those specific cards my D in a specific week. The cost ID can be found in this range vertically, and the week number can be found in this range horizontally. But so far, in all those XLOOKUP we have done in this XLOOKUP series, we have been looking either vertically or horizontally. But this time we wish to look up both vertically and horizontally. And that can be done by nesting two XLOOKUP together. So in order to look for that customer, 1106, to look for 15 sales cases, maybe it's beneficial we can first to show these sales cases of week 18 of all those customer ID. And that will make it easier for us to look for the customer ID to return week 18 sales cases. Let's try this. You have learned in the 8th video of this XLOOKUP Inside Out series where you can do XLOOKUP as an array formula to write an array. So here we can do this XLOOKUP to look for week 18 from this range over here but this time we're not going to return just like one single row. We are going to make the third argument to be multiple rows, multiple column, which will be this entire range over here. But having that third argument being this multiple rows, multiple column, then the week 18 corresponding such cases of all the custom ID will be returned. That's what I'm going to do in the cell D17. Equal sign XL, tap key to insert the function looking for week 18, which is cell B17, comma. From this range, in the cell I19, I hold on control and shift, then press arrow right to select that range. F4 makes the absolute comma. Now, my third argument will not be the regular XLOOKUP where we return the value in one single row. This time, I will make my third argument to be an array of multiple rows and multiple columns. Let me use my arrow key to go there to include the cases of all those customers and all those weeks. So control shift arrow right arrow down and select that entire range. Then F4 makes it absolute. Again, in this XLOOKUP, it's not a regular XLOOKUP. It's creating XLOOKUP as an array formula because this formula is going to return an array, not a single value. It's going to return week 18, the sales cases of all the custom ID. Now, if I enter, you see, we are returning an array. This array will have this outline to wrap that, so we know this an array. And this array is exactly the same as this range over here. If you look at the first one, 3793, 3793. The second one, 741, 741. If I go down to the bottom, the last one is 4926. Here, 4926. So this entire week 18 cases is being returned by this formula over here. So with this XLOOKUP, 
we are returning with 18 cases for all those cosmetics. Having that, it will be much easier for us now to look for the Cosme D11086 from the Cosme D range over here, then to return the value in this range, which is returned by the other XLOOKUP or reformulas, because those cases here are the week 18 cells cases of all those Cosme D. So now I can do another XLOOKUP over here, equal sign, XL, then tap key to enter the function, I will use my left arrow key to go to the Cosme D in the cell A17, comma, and then look for that from where? From this column J having all the Cosme D. I will use my left arrow key to go to the cell J20, and then hold on Control and Shift, press arrow down to select all those Cosme D. Then F4 to make the absolute, comma. Then the third argument will be the range you want to return the corresponding value. We are trying to return week 18 cells cases over here. And that's already been generated by this array formula we did before because those are all those week 18 cells cases. So now my third argument will be this range over here. I will use my mouse to go to cell D17 to select all the way down. Now notice in my reference, it's changed from D17 to D28 as I keep going down. It changed to D31. Now, if I keep going to the very last one, and you notice that reference changed to D17 hash. It's not showing as D17 to D57 anymore because this range is an array. It's a spirit array from that array formula in the cell D17. So, this is the behavior of array formula. When you have an array being generated by an array formula, the reference for that array will be showing the formula cell, in this case will be that D17, followed by hash. So that refers to this range spilled by that array formula, which is dynamic. When that array formula gave a different range of results, this will be always referring to the result of that formula. So with that, we have the third argument, then colon bracket, and enter. Now you see, we are looking for this 1106 in this range over here, it finds that match in the second cell, then it goes to the third argument to return the second cell, which is 741. This 741 is for the cost ID 11086 and uh, week 18. So now by doing this, we are getting that, but this time we are still using the supporting formula in the cell D17. But we understand the cell D17 is this array formula to look for that week 18 to return week 18 cells cases of all the Cosme D. That means we do not have to do this formula over here because we can have this formula to be done inside this extra cup in that third argument. So now I will go back to the D17 to copy this formula inside. Select the formula without equal sign, Ctrl C to copy that, then press escape key to come out from the cell, but what we copy is being copied. Then I will go to cell E17 with double click, and then to select the D17 hash, then I will Ctrl V to paste over that. Now you see that D17 hash is gone, what we have is that X lookup from that D17 cell which are the cells cases of all those Cosme D. Enter, I'm getting 741. Since now we're having that D17 hash replaced by this X lookup already, we don't need to have this D17 already formula here anymore. I can delete this formula, and the result will be done by this one single formula. What this does is essentially looking for that A17, which is the Cosme D, here vertically, and then look for that B17, which is that weak number, over here horizontally, and then return the value in this range for that particular customer ID in that row, for that particular week in that particular column. So this one formula, next these two X lookup together, we are performing vertical lookup and horizontal lookup at the same time in one single formula. Let me enter and copy that down. Then we are getting the cases for all those customer ID in those specific weeks. If you look at this 11344 week 13, we're getting 20,847. 
so that's this row over here and week 13 so that's the value we're getting 20,847 here we're doing this formula by doing two steps and then combine together we did one extra cup over here we did the other extra cup and then copy the previous one into second one to replace that d70 hash but once you get familiar you can get the whole thing down typing the formula in one single line you don't have to do it in two steps so you can practice this to get comfortable to write the whole formula in one shot if i do that that will be equal sign xl tab to insert the function looking for the cosmic d which is a17 comma from this cosmic d range which is from j20 i will hold down control and shift the arrow down to select that range f4 makes it absolute then comma now the third argument will be dynamic because that will be done by the other xlookup function i will type xl tab key to insert the function this time we'll be looking for the week week 18 which is cell b17 comma then i'll write to go to the week range to select all those week number make that absolute with f4 comma now the range we can return will be the cases of all the customer all the weeks let me use arrow right arrow down to go to cell i20 then control shift arrow right arrow down to select all of that the f4 makes that absolute now i need a one closing bracket for the second x lookup and then a lot of closing bracket for that first x lookup now with the two x lookup combined together we are getting the cases for that specific customer that specific week and then i can copy the formula down to get all of that in this formula we're nesting two x lookup together and we are using the concept of our array formula because this x lookup is actually returning an array but the good thing is we do not have to display the array anywhere we can keep this array inside this formula in the memory and then to perform the other x lookup to return the value from that array so that's how we do x lookup to look up vertically and horizontally at the same time in one single formula by nesting two x lookup together if you find this video beneficial please like this video and subscribe to my channel for any question you may have regarding this lesson please write a comment below and i will answer your question in the 10th video of the x lookup inside our series you are going to get exposure to see how XLOOKUP can be done in many other ways to perform magical and powerful things by incorporating our reformula principle. I look forward to seeing you in the 10th lesson. Thank you.